We're trying something different today. Chocolate Thunder Plus. So, driven like, I don't know, four or 5,000 miles since I cleaned these wheels. I uh, drove down to the uh, Southern Detailers Conference and back, towing the trailer. And as you can see, they are filthy. So, these are a coated wheel. I don't know what they're coated with, but they're coated. So we'll take that um, for what it's worth. I bought them used. They were better than the set that came on it. The instructions say six parts water, one part mix. So, of course, I went with three parts water, one part mix. So it's pretty tough. The instructions say 30 to 60 seconds, no agitation, spray on, rinse off. So let's give it a go. I haven't used a sprayer yet, so, okay. I have no idea what this stuff smells like. I can't smell it. The wind's blowing it away. I'm just spraying it on heavy. All right. Let's give it 30 seconds. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds and counting. Well, that took long enough. So it says let it dwell for 30 to 60 seconds, and being that it's twice as strong as it should be, we'll, we'll keep it at the minimum, that way we don't um, damage anything. Not bad. Well, that looks really good for a no touch wash and rinse away. So let's go around to the other side. I would say you could, uh, even through the camera, you could see that that's a similar dirt to what the other side had. Let's see, sorry about the wind. Let's see how it washes away without any product at all. And doing this stuff one-handed by yourself. So I guarantee the tires won't come out as nice. Let's see how the wheel does.
streaks and the mess in there and there and there and there and then come off. Let's apply some chocolate thunder, even though it's wet. Let's apply it liberally and spray it off. See how that goes. Still not gonna agitate because although it's 90 right now, um, it's just cause it's June. Now I can smell it. It doesn't smell like chocolate at all. So if, if you're excited for that, then sorry. It smells like a uh, cleaning product, honestly. I mean, it smells like you're gonna spray it on and you're gonna end up cleaner than what you started. I'm spraying it on heavily, heavily since it was already wet. And the product I'm spraying on is essentially being diluted by the water that was remaining on the wheels, wheel. that back there. Let that dwell. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 more seconds. Done. <sighs> Never mind. I'll just look at the clock on the back of the GoPro. It was 2 minutes 50 seconds in this time clip timestamp on this clip when I said add 25 seconds so let's go until 315 and there's three minutes 15 seconds so you can see the ground is already streaked presumably from the crap that was on the tire or the wheel Closely, the streaks that I pointed out, they're pretty much gone. I mean, there's the one there. Let's see if that comes off on my finger. Yeah, see, it comes off with just a light agitation. So I'd say for a no touch um, at the price point, this is a pretty good product. I'd like to see how it does in some of the winter um, um, road film and such that we get, but uh, uh, for what it, just did to the brake dust. I'd say it's pretty good. I'd like to see how the wheels look when they dry because a lot of times the water hides some of the mess. But um, for my purposes for today, since I'm doing basically a no-touch wash on this thing, it's, uh, it's pretty good. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And until then, please keep right and pass left.